Well, welcome to this Charles Street in brief. And the theme this week is going to be about well-being. And Lorraine, Norma and myself just want to share with you the well-being journey that we've run at Charles Street over the past few weeks. Just want to share our experience with you. So I think there's been a recognition in society in general and even more so as a consequence of COVID that there's a number of people who are consistently not feeling well. But well-being is a bit of a buzzword at the moment. So I thought where we would start would be, Norma, can I start with you? So when we think of the word well-being, what, before we started on this course, what did well-being mean to you? Well, well-being really meant that uh, I was fine in body, soul and spirit and that providing other people were OK and I was OK. That was well-being. Lorraine, anything you'd like to add to that? I think I thought of uh, well-being was just about feeling well and happy. I probably would have included having a good diet and exercise in that somewhere. But just in general terms, I didn't really think that it went much deeper than that. OK, we'll come back and explore that in a bit, because maybe that's our opinions changed as we've gone through this series. So thinking about the concept of a, a well-being journey, if you like, the well-being journey really lasts a, a lifetime. And Dave Smith, who is the author of the book God's Plan for Our Wellbeing, which accompanies this series, has suggested that thinking about this as a journey, it's really easy to get lost. It does take a lot of perseverance, but actually when we get there, it does all feel worthwhile. And another thing that I've certainly picked up through the book and through the series is about how important it is to be connected with other people as we actually go on this journey. And like any journey, it just starts with one step. And that's where the wellbeing journey comes in. So this journey was developed by Kingsgate Community Church in Peterborough and Hope Together. And it's an eight week course looking at several different aspects of wellbeing. And I'm just gonna share my screen now so that you can actually see what those actually look like. So just check in, Norma Lorraine, can you see my screen with the different tiles on? Okay, so the different areas that we explored were physical, emotional, spiritual, relational, financial, and vocational. So Norma, I'm gonna start with you again. Was that what you were expecting when we first started to talk about well-being and what this journey was going to be about? No, it was far more than I thought it was going to be. I'd never thought of relational, financial, vocational. Like Lorraine, I thought a bit of exercise and diet might come into it because one should be fit and healthy um, as part of well-being. But I had thought of it, as I said at the beginning, more sort of being OK in body, soul and spirit. And I'd never thought of those other things as being part of it, even though I have done well-being courses before, but never sort of come across those sort of things. Lorraine, what were your thoughts? I certainly didn't expect anything uh, to this deep level. Um, I've never experienced or gone on anything like a well-being course before I think the closest I could say I've had anything to do with well-being was in my job where we were encouraged to be take responsibility for our own health and well-being but that kind of covered whether we thought the job was getting too stressful for us and we had to own it and admit it so that we could get support for it um, or to have a task that we felt that we were physically incapable of doing and we had to admit that we we felt that we were the wrong person for the job but outside of that I don't think it covered much else. No and I think that was my impression as well I mean I've, I've been passionate about well-being for a long time partly from working in the health service and feeling passionate about patients well-being but also about staff and colleagues well-being and then more recently my own well-being as well and I think I tended to focus a lot on the emotional side of it, but not sort of thought through all of these different elements and how they might all be connected. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen now because I think it'd be good to actually just sort of talk through 
how the series ran. So the format was that we ran it on a weekly basis and we met using Zoom, which provided us with a few interesting IT challenges, but that's fine. Um, we said it was an eight week course, but actually we ran it over 10 weeks, didn't we? Um, and I think going forward that that's something that we would look at going forward, that we'd have an introductory getting to know you, then go through the eight different series and then have a bit of a wrap up session at the end to decide what the next steps were going to be for that group as well. So we would start with the video and we'd have a look at the video in advance. And there are a number of guest speakers um, who were experts in that particular area of well-being. Um, and then some real life examples weren't there of, of people sharing their stories. And the idea was that the video would sort of stimulate some questions or a bit of discussion. And I don't know about you, Norma and Lorraine, but the conversations never went where I thought they were going to go. So it was always really interesting to see what direction the group um, actually went in. And it was about people just, I, I think what came across to me was people being really real, really authentic. You know, they were sharing their stories um, and, you know, wh whatever place they were at, whether it was a good day or not, they could just come and be real. And it was about sharing their hopes, their fears, their ideas. But one thing that really encouraged me was how within the group, people really supported and encouraged and shared ideas and things that had actually worked for them. Now, we started with a group of um, six, didn't we? And I think that felt about the right sort of number. It sort of felt small enough so that it could feel intimate, um, not too big so that you felt that you could got lost um, and that people were able to contribute as much or as little as they wanted to. And we wanted it to feel a safe and a secure and a confidential environment. And when we've been chatting about the, the course, one of the things that the three of us were really clear about was that we're not professionals, are we? No way. <laughs> we've got an interest in and a, a passion about this, but we're not professionals. We weren't there to try and fix. We weren't there to try and resolve. But what we were there was to actually just try and draw alongside people. And I think that's what we did as a, a group. So just coming back to you, Norma, um, why did you agree or want to take part in this series? Well, the reason I wanted to take part is because Rachel <laughs> part. and um, I don't think I would have ever put myself forward um, for the group simply because I thought people would think that I was already well being together and that, um, you know, what she wants to go to that for. But of course, um, you find out on the course you're not so well put together as you think you are. Thank you Norma. Lorraine what about you? Well I suppose over the last 18 months I think it's become increasingly apparent that um, with the Covid crisis that it's exposed our vulnerability and our well-being is really quite fragile. When we take all our props away like our everyday things that we do, whether it be going to church, going to the shops, going to the cinema, socialising, everything is just stopped overnight. You can't hug your family and things like that. And it is, you just strip bare. And whoever I talked to, I don't think I came across one person that wasn't affected in some way. I personally was affected and I thought this is going to be there's going to be a real need of something after this crisis because there's just such a need and all these things were going through my head about people reconnecting and I needed to reconnect and get back into the world and how frightening it was all going to be and and all these thoughts were going through my head when I when Rachel suggested the course so the two things kind of came together and I thought, yes, this this is a start. This is I need to be part of this, whether to be belong to the group or to help with the group. I just felt that the timing was right and it was God's will to do. So that was my reason for joining. Thank you. And I have to say, I am so glad that you joined me <laughs> on this journey. And we were chatting a bit before about actually how we've all connected, haven't we? In terms of preparing for this, we've got to know each other better as well. So, you know, we've got a lot out of it from that point of view. 
when we started the course we started asking people why they'd come didn't we because we wanted to know where they were coming from and how we could draw alongside them and, and support them um, and there was a variety of responses, weren't there? So some a bit like the things that we've already said. So there were some that just wanted to learn more about well-being, some that actually could see that other people were struggling and wanted to draw alongside and to help them with their well-being. But others who were really honest and saying, well, do you know what? I'm actually really struggling at the moment. Um, people saying they felt quite isolated. People were feeling quite lonely people that were feeling quite fragile and I think the one that stuck in my mind and one that I could relate to was talking about just feel like I'm running on empty so there were lots of reasons why people came um, to share this journey with us so we can't begin to condense what we covered over 10 weeks in this really short Charles Street in brief but when we had the wrap up event at the end, we asked the people that had been part of the course what they'd actually got out of the course. So I'm just going to start with some of their feedback and then Norma and Lorraine, I'm going to come to you too, if that's OK, in terms of what you got out of the course as well. So the feedback that we got was um, similar to some of the things that we've said, that actually the concept of well-being was much broader um, of all of the different aspects that we looked at on those dials and how they're all actually really interconnected. Um, that we looked at life in all its fullness and how we could get to that fullness of life. Um, that people felt that they were being equipped with tools. Um, somebody said they felt that they'd been given a taster of what well-being was, but actually this had spurred them on to go and find out a little bit more about well-being and explore some of the subjects in greater depth. Somebody talked about how this had enabled them to take positive steps towards a positive attitude with hope. And I really like that description. I mentioned it was a safe place uh, and people were very real and authentic. And somebody said that what they'd realised was that actually behind the masks, we've all got similar issues. We've all got similar concerns. We've all got similar worries. We haven't all got it together like Norma was actually saying. And that it actually helped people to become grounded in the moment. So it was really good to get that feedback from the people who'd been part of the course. So Norma, is there any one thing that you would like to share in terms of what you've got out from the course? Well, at the beginning, we did a survey. You either did it or didn't. And being me, I did it. And I was pretty shocked when it came back 72%. And it made me realise that I wasn't quite so well together <laughs> as I thought, and that there was a lot I could learn. And although I was assisting in this course, I too could learn a lot from it. And in particular, some of the other subjects that I hadn't thought about, relational, financial, um, some of the others as well. And I think I learned very quickly that I had a long way to go on my journey, even though I'm an old lady. <laughs> I've still got a long <laughs> way on my journey to actually get to that point of being able to say, I've arrived, if ever we do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Norma. And we're never too old to learn, are we? No, no. No. Lorraine, can I come to you now? I suppose, uh, for me, I came to realise, although I've always known, that even though I've been born and bred in Newark and know lots and lots of people and I, have a, I belong to a really big family, I'm more comfortable being on the edge of things rather than in the centre of things. And the only people I really open up to are a few of my immediate family. I have lots of friends and things, but I would never, ever share anything on a deep level. And I, in fact, I find that quite hard. It, it, people think of me as a, quite an extrovert, but I'm not, actually. And during the lockdown, the one thing that came out of it all that was positive was that our street started a WhatsApp group, which I never knew what one was when we first started, but it, it connected all the houses together and in spite in 
and we got to know everybody by name. We knew, got to know about the individual families and, you know, getting to know people on a personal level. And we cared a lot about one another and supported one another. And I found that for the first time, really, apart from being what, the mom and the central person in my family, I actually really flourished in that role. And it, it gave me a lot of happiness and a lot of joy. And I thought, Do you know what, this is how church should be. And, you know, really deeply caring about one another. And I am guilty and I admit it and that I haven't ever tried to be that kind of a person within church um, or else anywhere else, really. I, I, if anybody asked me for help, I'd be there. But I don't make an effort in getting to know people really personally mm. and supporting on a deeper level. And if I could take one thing from this course, it's exactly that, that it was a way of just getting to know these six people, even Rachel and Norma, who I've known for a long time, but not really known them. And we've been supporting one another throughout this, haven't we? Just as three, let alone the other six. So, and, and I found that so useful and so such an eye opener. And I can see its potential of the beginning of something new within the church where we can start to reconnect but on a deeper level and once we do that we can take that outside of our church walls because we'll have a much deeper understanding that everybody needs connections and that we all need that love and support it doesn't matter what age you are like norma says it not everybody's got it sorted there'll be some kind of problem that somebody's having and unless you're willing to be open, more open, unlike me, then I don't think you would ever achieve that. So for me, it's a journey on trying to be a little bit more open. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate your honesty and your openness in, in sharing that. And that sort of leads us on nicely to well, where are we going with this? Um, and from the wellbeing series itself, we're looking forward to putting on another event, aren't we? So this is sort of a way of sort of publicising it, but asking you that if you are listening to this and are interested to find out a little bit more about this, I'm going to show you the links for an intro video that you can actually have a look at. But please chat to Norma, Lorraine or myself if you're interested and we can share with you a little bit more detail. We're going to open up another group. It will be virtual, so it will be via Zoom. So people will need to have access to Zoom, but we can help um, facilitate that. Longer term, we would really hope that we'd be able to do this face to face. I think we're all longing to be back face to face, but the restrictions as they are at the moment, we just don't think that that's actually possible. So we're inviting you um, to come and talk to us. Um, we're going to plan to start a new series starting on the 7th of June, and it will be a Monday evening. It will start at half past seven. We ran to about an hour, an hour and a quarter, didn't we? we well, that's what the sort of amount of time that we wanted it to run th through, through. And that gave us enough time to have that chat and that discussion and think through things going to run it over 10 weeks so the first um, session will be about getting to know people in the group and um, because as Lorraine was saying we might think we know people in church but actually we don't necessarily know each other that well then run the series and then have a bit of a wrap up at the end to give some time to think through well what have we got out of this and what are our next steps and what do the, the group of people that have come together want to do how do they want to take things forward for themselves and longer term, I think our, our vision is to open it to the wider church community and even to the wider local community. I think if I was to ask my question to, the, to, to me in terms of what have I got out of it, the, the most positive thing that I've got out of it has been the ripple effect that I've seen, that talking about these issues, sharing these issues has really had a positive effect on my own well-being but I've seen the positive impact on the well-being of my friends, my family, the church community and the local community. And that's what we really want. That's what we want this to be, the start of that ripple effect. So thank you very much.
for chatting today, Norma and Lorraine. Hopefully that's given people at home a bit of a feel for this journey. I'm now gonna share my screen. So I'm just gonna put the last slide up for you so that you can see where to get a few more details. So this is the intro video. I've given you the link to the Vimeo. Um, and if you did want to find out a little bit more about the wellbeing journey itself, then I've given you the website. But as I said, Norma, Lorraine and myself, we're really happy to chat with anybody about this. So thank you very much and see you soon.